not going to be going very far with Welsh. This is popped up on the infield. Engelhard and Minder. Minder's struggling a little bit and makes the catch. <laughs> Hits sharply off the glove of Engelhard at second. Well, they had him positioned perfectly. It one hopped toward his glove. He was playing in shallow right, but he need two for him today. Runner goes, cut on and missed, throw to second base off the glove of a covering Minder. Now I'm not sure if he catches that ball, if he can get a tag down because it was 10 mark nationally. Cut on and missed. So the throw to first after the drop third strike is there. Second strike out for Chandler Welch as he a regular Friday starter at Tulane. Cut on and tipped into the glove of Avilas. Fastball at 90. Singles, 2-2. Ripped in the right center for a base hit, just over the glove of McGillis, not by much at all. Engelhardt hit it so hard, he's going to stop at first. Nine run inning for Houston, which... Uh... And he pokes that one in the right center. Same spot, same result. Engelhardt digging for third, and he's in with a head first slide. First inning. He chops one toward the right side. This will get a run in. Nice play made by the second baseman, McGillis. You got to hit it almost right at him. And Hart cuts and misses. That's a big second out for 0-2. Runner goes. Cut on and missed. It's another multi-strikeout inning for Ben Etheridge. And the first time that came against Chandler Welch, the starter for Tulane. Pops this one up. Shallow right. Groff coming on. Engelhard will give way. And one out. Gabe Montenegro sends one out to left. That's easy work for Jackson Lane for the second out. Can the right guys who can grow a little bit. Well, that's 95 and right on the back of Blake Johnson. 3-1 from Hoffman to the leadoff man, Peto. And he missed low. This is a one-run game and keep USM off the scoreboard. Pitch laced into left center for a base hit. Blake Johnson around third will score and to second base with an RBI double, Dustin Dickerson. We're tied at one here in the fifth. The kind of pitches you want to make. It's a four pitch walk to load the bases. And the payoff. He walked him. Low and in. Carson Pato scores. Elks, 3-1. He walked another one. Amazing. 1-2. Popped up. A bear in shallow left will put it away. And the inning finally comes. 1-2 to Groff. Got him. Tailing fastball away at 88. And run out there and, and play baseball. Avilas tips that one into the glove of Johnson right now. 0-1 to Margette. Grounded to short. Dickerson on the run. Dug out well at first by Sargent and an easy two. And that misses. The Sargent. Called strike three. 87 on the outside corner. Sargent didn't love it. Payoff pitch. And that just taken off since. He rips one here to the right center field gap. Long run for Groff. And it one hops off the wall. So into score Ewing. Right behind him, Shane Slade Wilkes. It's a two run double off the bat of Danny Lynch. Yeah, double by Danny Lynch. That's ball one. And that bounces away from Avilas, who can't track it down until Sanchez runs it. Well, now playing with his brother Rodrigo. That one gets by Avilas. Bounces up the first base line. And easily coming in to score, Danny Lynch. They got it all started in this. Infield comes in. That's out to left field. Catch made by Lynn. He'll chuck in and coming to score, Will McGillis. RBI sacrifice fly for Gabe Montanet. One, two. Good breaking ball there. That was amazing stuff. Just toward a championship. They've got work to do first in this game. Ethan Groff will blast one out to left. Ranging back and over the wall. Ethan Groff starts off the seventh with a bang. Home run number eight. And finally some life injected into this two-lane offense.
Groff stays red hot, and it's 7-2. The hit streak is at six. Margett lines one, what a catch, it's short by Dickerson to first base, not in time. Now this may get reviewed. Ball to start out. That'll bounce away from the catcher, Johnson. A two in a scoring position. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. That's hit out to center, driven well. Back goes Montenegro to make the catch. Now this will get a run in. Tagging from third is Avilas. Up to third goes Margette. It's a sacrifice fly from Jackson Lynn in frame for Tulane trying to battle back. And he looks at ball four. That's a heck of a take. That's ripped in the left field and down for a hit. So Brady Margette scores. Chase Engelhard delivers. It's a three-run seventh inning. 2-2 two, two, with two down. On the hands, out to right, dipping fast, but there's room for Carson Pato. 1-2 from Beatty. In the center field, Hart coming on, got a late jump, lays down, and it's off his body. So it goes off his chest and bounds towards right field and to second base with a double, Carson Pato. And he bunts. Lays this one down oh. beautifully. Now this is what Southern Miss does. 1-0. No, it won't matter. In the right field, a base hit. Reese Ewing drives in Pato. And up to third base goes Dickerson, and the ball gets away toward the two-lane bullpen and in to score Dickerson. Two bases loaded walks by Clifton Slagle. And now he hits one in the air to left. Got under it a bit. Jackson Lynn settles to make the catch. Tagging to third. Throw is on the money, and he got him. Lynn able to throw out Ewing at third base. It's a heck of a double play, two outs. That's in the left. Long run for Lynn, and he can't get to it. Into the corner it goes up against the wall. And Wilkes has a two out stand up double. You think about the opportunity they had. This is out in the center fields. And Hart is there to make the catch. And been doing uh, big work for him. Uh. Up the middle and throw for a base hit. Okay. Just past a diving angle. It's been tremendous. Hurston Waldrop, a, a sophomore, has been really good for them as well. That ball will get away. That's in the left center and down for a hit. Off the bat of Montenegro. McGillis scores. Ten runs on the board. He expected. This is hit sharply towards third, gloved by Bear. Oh. throw to second, bounces into Engelhard. That'll be a second error today on the two-lane defense. That one will get to the backstop. And the runners will go up to second and third. And he hits one here out to right. That'll get a run. Yep, all the way back and reaching up for it to make the catch is Jacob LaPrairie in to score on the tag up Gabe Montenegro. Uh, not an easy lineup to be thrown into the fire against. This one is rocketed off the glove of the second baseman McGillis and into right center field. 0-2 to Lee. Got him. Waits, he's ready, he deals. Now there's ball four. And to right center, that's dipping and fast and splits the gap. Cut off by the right fielder, Pato, in to score Lynn. Englehard will halt at third. Last thing you want to do is run yourself into an out right now. 2-2, two -two, popped up, foul ground, third base side, and catch is made by Danny Lynch. Southern Miss comes on the road. They beat Tulane 11 of 5. 10 game win streak for them.